Welcome to a new Sky Roster training video. In the previous videos, we've learned how to define the working shifts, how to mix them, and create shift patterns. The next step in the configuration of the tool is to create manpower requirements. These allow planners to define how many employees with certain qualifications are required to optimally cover a specific shift. Sky Roster enables planners to schedule employees individually or as part of different teams. Therefore, it supports two types of manpower requirements, for individual employees and for teams. Today we'll learn how to define individual manpower requirements. Depending on the shift rotation strategy, there are three types of manpower requirements available, sequence, weekly and pattern-based. For sequence and weekly manpower, you need to define the minimum and maximum number of employees required on each shift, correlated with a defined qualification. Pattern-based manpower is a bit different. It requires the selection of a shift pattern and a fixed number of employees on each shift. After saving, the newly created manpower definition will be visible in the manpower requirements list. Sequence and weekly manpower requirements benefit of an extra configuration that can be used to fine-tune staff needed on specific periods. This can be achieved using the specific requirements option, which will be available after the manpower definition is saved for the first time. Specific requirements allow you to override the manpower requirements for certain days. For example, if you know that there is a major event scheduled on a certain date, which will result in a higher traffic demand, you can add more staff only on that day. Alright, that's all for today. In the next training video, we'll examine the manpower requirements for teams. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get a notification when the next training video comes out. See you soon.